The following is an educational and informational program for children. For more than 150 years, Westfield has provided security and peace of mind to families and businesses through dependable insurance protection. But there's more to Westfield than offering trusted, knowledgeable service to our policyholders. We're a company that cares about the communities in which we work and live. We're committed to supporting youth and education. That's why Westfield is proud to sponsor Academic Challenge, a program that celebrates excellence in our schools. We're hoping you join us in supporting the young contestants who are the next generation of leaders. Tonight, teams from McKinley, Ashland, and Highland meet on Academic Challenge. Academic Challenge is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. And now, here's the host of Academic Challenge, Adam Shapiro. Hello, I'm Adam Shapiro, and welcome to another Academic Challenge. The challenge is simple. Tonight, three teams will compete for points by answering questions which cover math, science, history, and other topics. We want to take a look at the team standing so far because at the end of this season, the top three scoring teams will return for our championship match. But the points are very important for another reason. Westfield Insurance will grant more than $30,000 to the top 10 schools that compete this season on Academic Challenge. So let's get started with the opening match. We call it the lightning round, and in this round, all three teams compete, we will award 10 points for a correct answer. We subtract 10 points for an incorrect or no answer. We start each team with 100 points, and here we go. T and T, these questions should suit you to a T, since all the answers are words or names with a double T. That's right, two T's together. Please identify the following. This scarlet object titles a novel by Hawthorne. Highland Letter. is correct. In the orchestra, it's another name for the Tiffany Highland. Kettle drum. Is correct. In 1848, gold was discovered at his Highland. Sutter's Mill. Is correct. John Sutter. The Scourge of God is just one nickname of this fourth century king of the McKinley. Attila. Is correct. Bull weevils once did much damage to this major Highland. Cotton. Is correct. This mad literary character gave a tea party Highland. Hatter. Is correct. There are just over a half a million people in this largest Washington state city. McKinley. Seattle. Is correct. This was the name given to the project to build the first Highland. Manhattan. Is correct. This article of clothing was lost by the three Highland. Mittens. Is correct. The three little kittens who lost their mittens. Please look at the monitor. We're going to have a question right now from Steve Taylor in the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. We all know we have a lot of large animals at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. But we are also interested in smaller creatures. We have a major effort underway to study and conserve what beautiful Lepidopterous insect whose common name has a double T. McKinley. Butterfly. Is correct. Well done, all three teams. We're going to be back with more questions and answers for you on Academic Challenge right after this. With age comes wisdom. Imagine how much you could learn in 150 years. Rely on the knowledge and experience of Westfield Insurance and the trusted advisor of your independent agent. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you Academic Challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. Chris Carlson is a professor at Kent State University. Paul is a horticulture student. Together, they design, manage, and maintain green space. <laughs> Professor Carlson's classrooms are landscapes and flower gardens. Paul cultivates knowledge, among other things. Watching his hard work grow and flourish has always been a fashion of Professor Carlson's, especially the student varieties. This is learning by living. It's happening every day at Kent State University. Imagine. Dear Mr. Purdue, do you ever give your chickens treats? I bet they'd like donuts. Sincerely, Gladys Pennyfeather. Gladys. No artificial ingredients for my chickens. Just an all-natural diet of soybeans, marigolds, and corn. How about a corn dog? Purdue chickens have always been naturally meaty. So that means no added hormones or steroids. And no corn dogs. <coughs> nice try, Gladys. No more email girls. Purdue, a healthy obsession with chicken. 
tonight's guest judge, Frank Saucy, is supported by Cuyahoga Community College. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. It's time for our Mix It Up round where the questions are worth 20 points. There is no penalty for an incorrect answer. Answer all six questions correctly and your team receives 25 bonus points. But first, let's take time to learn about team number one from McKinley. With an enrollment of over 1,700 students, McKinley is one of the largest high schools in Stark County and is part of the Canton City School District. McKinley offers a wide variety of academic, athletic, fine arts, and extracurricular activities. The school boasts a strong athletic tradition, including state-rated athletic teams and excellent sports facilities. Our captain from McKinley is AJ. Welcome to Academic Challenge. Tell me about yourself. Uh, my name is AJ Balloon. I'm a senior at McKinley High School. I'm in Academic Challenge, NHS, and McKinley High or <laughs> Girls Soccer. All right, AJ, it's good to have you here. How about you, Victoria? My name is Victoria Morgan. I'm a senior at McKinley. Um, I'll be attending Ohio University in the fall studying journalism. Good to have you here, Victoria. And Alex, you're up. My name is Alex Papadopoulos. I am a senior at McKinley, and I'm in academic challenge, mock trial, and among other things, and I plan to attend Case Western or MIT. Good to have you here, Alex. AJ, Victoria, and Alex, I got your questions. We're going to start with this. Tree made. Rearrange the letters in this phrase, and you'll name what line that divides a circle in half and is twice the length of a radius. Diameter. Diameter is correct. If you wanted to find out all the slithery facts about snakes, you'd take a course in which of these subjects? Herpetology. That is correct. These mythical twins had what collective name shared with a sign of the zodiac and an early U.S. space program? Gemini. Gemini is correct. October 8, 1871. On this date, a dreadful fire destroyed thousands of homes in what largest Midwestern city? Chicago. Chicago is correct. Radium, copper, oxygen. Listed here are three elements. Can you rearrange them in the order in which they were discovered? Oxygen, copper, radium. Oxygen, copper, radium. Actually, copper, oxygen, radium. Revolution is an idea which has found a blank. To complete this statement by Napoleon, place in the blank space what kind of steel blade soldiers once attached to the end of rifles? Bayonet. That is correct. Well done, McKinley. Our second team tonight comes from Ashland, and Ashland High School is located about an hour southwest of Cleveland. The mission of Ashland is to create a high-performing community of, responsibly, of responsible learners and citizens in a safe, supportive, and challenging environment. The staff and students are committed to educational excellence and developing lifelong learners. Our captain from Ashland is Jeff. Welcome to Academic Challenge. Tell me about yourself. Hi, my name is Jeff Chandler. I'm a senior. I'm in Key Club, National Honor Society, and we'd like to thank our advisor, Mr. Mario Court. Good to have you here, Jeff. Felipe, how about you? Uh, I'm Felipe. I'm a senior, and I'm in tech and band. Good to have you here, Felipe. And Brian, you're up. I'm Brian Overland. Uh, I'm in mock trial, National Honor Society, and band, and I'm a junior. All right, Brian, Jeff, and Felipe, I've got your questions here, and we're going to start with this. A perfect crab egg. By rearranging these letters, you can get what derogatory term for a Yankee who moved south after the Civil War and was nicknamed for the luggage he carried? Carpetbagger. That is correct. Which one of these adjectives would most appropriately describe a strong acid? Corrosive. That is correct. Noah Webster, Samuel Johnson, both of these men made their mark on the world by publishing what kind of reference book? Dictionary. That is correct. August 20, 1866. On this date, a convention of labor unions met in Baltimore and demanded a, fa a factory workday of how many hours equal to one-third of a day? Go for it. Eight. Eight is correct. Eight hours. Condoleezza Rice, Molly Pitcher, Sojourner Truth. Here are three women who made their marks on history in different centuries. Please arrange them in correct chronological order. Sojourner, Sojourner Truth, Molly Pitcher, Condoleezza Rice. Looking for Molly Pitcher, Sojourner Truth, and Condoleezza Rice. My kingdom for a blank. In Shakespeare's play Richard III, the king shouts during a losing battle that he would exchange his kingdom for what sort of equine animal? Horse. Horse is correct. Well done, Ashlyn. 
Our third team tonight is Highland. Highland High School, located in Medina County, has earned an excellent state ranking for the last six years in a row. With a current enrollment of 900 students, Highland offers a complete college prep curriculum, including honors and AP courses. Students are also challenged with a variety of elective classes, ranging from vocal music and fine arts to forensics and oceanography. And for more than 25 years, Highland has had an academic challenge team. Well done, our captain from Highland is Tina. Welcome to Academic Challenge, tell me about yourself. My name is Tina Erickson, I'm a senior at Highland High School and I'm also in the Thespians Academic Challenge team and band and we wanted to thank our advisors today, Mrs. Ott and Mr. Dutt. Good to have you here, Tina. How about you, John? Hi, my name is John Connors. I'm a junior at Highland. Um, I play the trombone in the band, run varsity cross country um, in National Honor Society and Academic Challenge and we would like to thank Westfield Insurance for inviting us back. That was very kind of you, John. Thank you. And how about you, Greg? My name is Greg Griffin. I'm a sophomore at Highland High School. I'm on the speech and debate team. I do academic challenge. I'm in the band. And I'd like to thank all of our um, fans from Highland who came out to watch us today. All right, Greg, Tina, and John, I've got your questions here, and we're going to begin with this. Prior use, before doing anything else, please rearrange this phrase to name what useful body of water that is the largest of our Great Lakes. Superior. Superior is correct. If you gave a succinct answer to someone's question, your reply would best be described by which of these adjectives? Terse. Yes, that is correct. Union safeguard, unconditional surrender. These phrases were used as nicknames for what Civil War general and future president whose first two initials were U.S.? Ulysses S. Grant. Is correct. August 29, 1989. This was the date when the Voyager 2 spacecraft sped by what outer planet named for the Roman god of the sea? Neptune. Neptune is correct. Pearl Harbor bombed, Harper's Ferry attacked, Bastille stormed. These three events took place in three different centuries. Please arrange them in correct chronological order. Bastille stormed, Harper's Ferry attacked, Pearl Harbor bombed. That is correct. And for the bonus, all human wisdom is summed up in two words, weight and blank. To complete this quotation from Alexander Dumas, put in the blank space what quality that was left in Pandora's box after all the evils had escaped. Watch. Need an answer. Watch. Watch. Hope. Hope was the only thing left in Pandora's box. Well done, Island. That ends that round. We're going to be back with more questions and more answers for you after this. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Life is full of surprises, not all of them pleasant. Who can you depend on when the unexpected happens? You'll get fast, fair, and professional service from Westfield Insurance Claims Representatives because your protection is our business. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you academic challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. My goal was a job in healthcare, but I didn't know where to start. Our goal was to hire well-trained people, but where would we find them? I needed the right education and training. We appreciate quality training and we reward it. I went to college where the best people study. We went where many of our best employees got their training. Tri-C connected me to my job in healthcare. Tri-C connects us to great new employees. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we begin our next round, we want to recap the scores so far at this point in our match. With 200 points, Ashland. With 230 points, McKinley. And with 270 points, Highland. It's time for the picture perfect round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams play, so hands on the buzzer, eyes on the monitor, because here we go. This Texas chapel, built in 1777, McKinley. The Alamo. Rio Grande, is by, uh, named after what Mexican river. At Egypt's ancient Abu Simbel temple, you can see this colossal statue of what pharaoh with an R initialed name? Highland. Ramesses. Ramesses is correct. Here you see the foothills of what mountain range that runs from the Arctic tundra toward the Caspian Sea and traditionally separates Asia from Europe? Ashlyn. The Ural. Is correct. What is the y-intercept given by this equation? Ashlyn. Negative eight. Negative eight or zero, correct. Similar to the flags of Colombia and Ecuador, this is the flag of what other South American country whose capital is Caracas? Highland. Venezuela. Is correct. 
It was in front of Boston's old state house that what tragic event took place? Highland. Boston Massacre. That is correct. What total number of atoms is represented by this formula? 9, 11, or 16? McKinley. 11. Looking for nine, uh, excuse me, looking for 16, looking for 16. This Plain Dealer headline from 1973 tells of